Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, something big just happened with a Linux distro. Yes, we're talking about Linux Mint. Linux Mint just obtained an update. Linux Mint 22.1 Zia. Today, we're going to be installing this on this USB flash drive and seeing how much did it improve. So, we're going to first plug this stick in. We are you currently using Android 86. Should be getting one. There it is. USB general general USB drive. This is the Linux Mint 22.1 Zia. Next, we're going to restart this and boot into the installation. So, let's press restart by just pressing the physical power button and we're gonna be restarting it now Linux Mint is a really popular distro because it's very suitable for beginners and also has a say as a similar UI to Windows 10 so, and it's also pretty stable And here we are booting into the Linux Mint installer. It would say here, Star Linux Mint. So we're gonna click Star Linux Mint. It's gonna take a while to boot. And we're not actually booting into Linux, but we're booting into the installer of Linux Mint. Okay. Here it's booting in verbose mode, as you can see here. It will show really how Linux Mint the boots, the boot process behind the Plymouth, which is the graphical boot screen, the Linux boot logo. Yeah, I can see here it's taking a while. I'm not sure if it's doing something. Is it doing something? I don't know. Bro, I have to wait. I'm going to time skip until we boot into the desktop. We boot into the desktop. Here we have the Linux Mint desktop. We can press the button install Linux Mint. So let's press this button. Before we actually check out what's new, we first got to actually just install the system. So let's press install Linux Mint. Okay, I, I think I clicked it too much. Okay, there it is, it's loading. You also gotta connect to the internet. What she have? Not now. After the installation. As it's booting, let me tell you a few facts about Linux Mint's new version. Apparently Linux Mint's new version wants to modernize APT dependencies. That's right, it will modernize APT dependencies. That could make it more stable and more up to date than usual. Oh look, they also updated the icon theme. It doesn't look so bland now. Which is actually a great fix. Hard to say to it. We're going now. We're in the installation menu. Welcome. We we'll press English. Okay. 
Let's choose English US as our keyboard because it American. Okay. Do you want to connect to a network? I'm going to do a little time skip of me connecting to the Wi-Fi. Okay, we connected to the internet. It's right there. And so now let's install multimedia codecs. Over here I'm using LabRat. What I've used on the installing Android 86 video. Okay, erase disk and install Linux Mint. We're going to obliterate Android 86 and install Linux Mint on it. So let's click install now. If you continue, all the changes will be written to the disk. Otherwise, you'll be able to make further changes manually. Warning, this will destroy all data on any partitions you have removed, as well as on the partitions that are going to be formatted. This is just a testing laptop, so we're just going to click continue. Okay, our time zone, we're in Romania, so we're going to click Bucharest. Okay, name. Let's put the name Labrat. And instead of Labrat in Spiron, we're going to change its name to just also Labrat. Password is also going to be Labrat. And we're also going to write it again, weak password. Labrat is going to be the password, and so we're going to click continue. And boom! We are in the installation. Welcome to Linux Mint. Welcome and thank you for choosing Linux Mint. This I will show you around while the system is being installed on your computer. You're going to be doing a little time skip until the system gets installed because I don't want to bore you at just looking at the installation. We're going to check out what's changed after the installation. A little time skip. All right, guys, the installation has finally finished. Let's click restart now and test out these features that the Linux Mint devs gave to us in this update. It will take a while to restart. There it is. There's the Linux Mint Boot logo. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Okay, it says something. Please remove the installation medium and then press enter. We are doing just stats. Goodbye, ISO USB stick. Hello, Linux Mint system. Now it's going to be booting into Linux Mint. There it is. I'm not sure if you can see the plume out that clearly. But it's a wide boy. It's a wide plume out screen. There it is. This is the plume out of Linux Mint. It's booting. May take about a minute for it to boot. I'm, I'm actually very excited to try out these new features because I'm sure the Linux Mint developer team worked hard on this. But Linux Mint in general, it's actually a good distro. It's pretty good for beginners. Here it is, here's the mouse. There's a cursor, I mean. Um, there it is, Lab Rat. We're going into Cinnamon, and let's type in our password. Totally very secure password, Lab Rat. Okay. And we boot into Linux Mint. There it is. 
I'm going to time skip the video so that I can install OBS Studio and get it to work. And here's the welcome screen. Welcome to Linux Mint. Your new operating system. Let's go. And we close it. We're going to close this. Don't show it at startup. Let's close it. I'm going to be doing a little time skip so that I can install OBS Studio and screen share the whole system because it's not really necessary to record it from a phone. Time skip. Alright everyone, I managed to get OBS Studio working. So let's see all the features it has to offer in this update. Let me run a new fetch to show you. Linux Mint 22.1. There you go. Linux Mint 22.1. Zia. Now, as the first feature, we're going to check out the night light. So, to achieve the night light, we go to the settings menu. System settings. And then find the night light feature. Night light. We're going to press on it. Color temperature. Enable night light. And you can actually flip the switch. This is actually a pretty good feature in my opinion. Because you're because it has to do with your eyes. If you are looking at your computer at the in during the night and the light the light of the screen can really damage your eyes. So I think that this is pretty useful in my opinion. It's pretty useful if you're planning to use the computer long enough in the night. Let's get on to the next feature which is our the desktop in general. The desktop is updated to Linux Mint Cinnamon 6.4 as you can see here, it's more circular. The menu seems more circular than last time. It is pretty beautiful in my opinion. Next, they also changed a little of the UI. For example, oops. Oops, uh, they changed the UI. For example, if you press the shutdown button, they changed the UI. They've changed it. They've changed the UI of the Linux Mint. Well, at confirmation messages, basically. Next feature we'd like to try is that the software manager is also faster. It also improves APT and made it more modern, though making it more stable. Though it opens in a fraction of a second on a little 14-year-old laptop, we can basically install any app. So right now, we could try to install... Let's see what we should install. I don't know. Let's install GIMP. From the flat pack, of course. Okay, install. Okay, I'm going to click install. We're kind of froze for a bit there. Let's click install, and it's installing for us GIMP. Another change that I've seen is the icon theme. The icon theme seems n is actually more pleasing to the eye than in the old Linux Mint versions. In fact, that I actually like these icons. I actually prefer them over the old ones. The old ones felt a little too bland. Let's see if they done the same to the other icons in the in the system. So we're gonna pull up the system settings. 
leaves. I'm not. Uh, it froze a little. There it is. Mint Y. Mint X. The Mint X icons don't seem that changed to me. But it looks pretty old. It looks pretty oldish. If and I like it. I actually like this theme. And, and then if you click the Mint L. Yeah, you get the same icons. Like the, This is how the icons used to look before the Linux Mint update. Now they look a little more modern, which I pretty much love. Next the feature that added that was added is basically desktop wallpapers. They added new desktop wallpapers and let me show you. Here obviously the default Linux Mint wallpapers now clicking on the wallpapers, you get to see every wallpaper. It might take longer to load. Here are, here are most of the wallpapers, the new wallpapers that dropped. Oh, looks like GIMP installed. We'll check it out later. The wallpapers all are 3D art. As you can see, basically, I'm just going to put the confetti one to celebrate the launch of Linux Mint 22.1 Zia. Ooh, it looks really nice. We got this one, the city wallpaper. Here we got the waves wallpaper, the curtain wallpaper. Wave wallpaper. There are a lot of these wallpapers everywhere to see. Which is why I like Linux Mint so much. It's not just the wallpapers actually, it's mainly the UI, the look, the simplicity. I just like it. It's just Ubuntu with no snap problems. As I can say, Flatback to May are just better. And these were an exploration of all the new features. We can, of course, and we we can, of course, and I actually like these features. It, they are really good. They're nice. It feels like a, a massive improvement, a bigger one than I've expected from Linux Mint 22. So, what am I supposed supposed to give it I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 a 10 out of 10 would actually use the Linux Mint but currently I have MX Linux on my main laptop and I don't feel like the urge to distro hop but I assure you that Linux Mint is going to be best for both the beginner and the advanced user in my opinion because it just works now, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you like and subscribe to see more content. I'm also probably going to release one in this weekend if I'm not busy. I'm going to see you all in another video. Goodbye.